Okay, we're looking at Mr. Ridley's RMT revision number nine, and we're looking at types of plastic. The first thing we need to know about plastic is that plastic is made from oil. That's the raw material that plastic comes from, or the majority of plastics come from. What's important about that? Why is that important? First of all, where did oil come from? We need to understand this. This is fundamental with plastics. Oil was created millions of years ago in the time of the dinosaurs. It was sea creatures and plants that fell to the sea floor. The bodies built up into layers. Rock formed over them and the pressure turned it into oil. This was a one-off thing. So, oil was made a long time ago. It would take millions of years to make more. So, oil is a finite resource. Plastic from oil is a finite resource. Sooner or later, plastic made from oil will run out. It is not a sustainable product. The other issue of sustainability with plastic is that many products made from plastic are recyclable, but a huge proportion of these end up in landfill. That's their holes dug in the ground and they are buried. Once the plastic is put into landfill, it will not biodegrade. It will not rot away. So there's the two issues in the exam. If you're talking about plastic, it is not sustainable. It is not biodegradable. So let's look at the types of plastics. There are two major types of plastics. Thermoplastics that can be melted and reshaped over and over. They can be easily recycled. Thermosetting plastics, once heated and cooled, they retain their form and they are difficult to recycle. They can be recycled, but they are much, much more difficult to recycle. Thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. Now we're going to look at some thermoplastics. These can be melted, shaped over and over, and they are much more easily recycled. What is this plastic called? This plastic is an important one because you're going to use it in school. Many of you may have used it. It is acrylic. It has good impact strength. It's lightweight. It can be polished. It comes in a range of colours. It's an important one because you've probably used it. Now we're going to look at some thermoplastics. These can be melted, shaped over and over, and they are much more easily recycled. What is this plastic called? This plastic is an important one because you're going to use it in school. Many of you may have used it. It is acrylic. It has good impact strength. It's lightweight. It can be polished. It comes in a range of colours. It's an important one because you've probably used it.